Hello there, JTS here. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you on how to set up an Android device controller for your user emulator. It is completely free without requiring any console controller. I will be doing this series about emulator and stuff for future video. You can freely use the comment box down below if you need any help with emulator or stuck while doing this tutorial. Before we get into the setup, I will be explaining the disadvantage of using this method. This will affect in your gaming experience mostly. The first one, this method will use an internet Wi-Fi connection. Therefore, you may experience a delay or ping or maybe lag in between your controller and your emulator. The second one, because this will use a touchscreen gamepad application, you may experience an accidental wrong button press. Therefore, be patient and you will get used to it. Consider yourself like this video and subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let's get started. To set up the basic controller, you need an application in your Android device to connect with your PC. After I have researched it, I finally found one good software that you can use. So first, go to your Android device, go to the Google Play and find Droid Joy application. You can download one of them, but I already download the light version. If you really want to customize your own controller layout, then you need to buy the full version of it. For now, I'm just gonna use the light version. Once you have installed it, you need the server to connect your Droid Joy to your PC. I have the link in the description. You can scroll down and find the download section. Make sure you choose and match the current OS in your PC. Once you have downloaded that, go to your folder and find your exe file, then run the installer. You have to follow the instruction of the installer, so choose your language, then click OK. Choose the directory you want to install once you have installed. If this is your first time, then install a virtual X input driver. Make sure you read the message before installing it. There's an option where you can set always trust this developer. I recommend not to tick that option for your future. It is better to read the message before you proceed the installer. In my case, I have already installed the driver, so I will say OK here. Now you can open the application in your PC. It is automatically run the server after you open it. As you can see here, there are four gamepads that can be connected into the server, which is good. You can do a local multiplayer if you have two or more devices. You can set your own connection port. I leave this as default. In your gamepad one, you can customize the button keys. Each has its own number, but I will leave it as it is. Before you want to connect the device into your PC, if you have two or more devices you want to connect, you need to set the other gamepads first. Tick Activate X Input Gamepad in Other Gamepad, like Gamepads 2, 3, or 4. Then save your config. You can see the warning under the window. All existing connection will be disconnected for the changes to take effect. If there's already device that has already connected previously, then it will automatically disconnect. Now save your config. Now there are two available free gamepads that can be connected on how many devices you want to connect. Now go back to your Android device and open the application that you have installed. Then go to connect, open the plus ribbon button, then choose find a server. If it doesn't find any server, then you need to manually connect the server with your network address. In your Droid Joy server, you can check your IP address near the title, which is the one that connects to your Wi-Fi router or internet. You can name the server whatever you want. After that, then connect to the server. Next step is to connect with the emulator. Now open your Yuzu emulator, then select emulation on your menu bar, then configure. Go to the control page, make sure you tick the connect controller. Then in the input device drop-down list, you can see there's Xbox 360 controller appear, which refers to the gamepad in your Droid Joy server. I will choose the first controller that connected with my Android device. Check if it is working by pressing buttons and moving your joystick in your Android device. You can configure each button with the emulator by matching the button number with the server in gamepad, but I will leave it as default. You can now play the game using your Android device controller. We already have the basic control of the emulator. Unfortunately, some games require a motion control. Now let's set up the motion control for your user emulator. Prequisition first, your Android device need a sensor called gyroscope sensor, which is usually used for running a VR application. 
You can check if your Android device supports a gyroscope by using a tester application. You can search gyroscope tester in Google Play, then run the application and run the sample simulation to check if your Android device supports a gyroscope sensor. If you don't have it, then I'm sorry that you cannot follow this any further. There's another option which you need to root your device and install the sensor. There's a bunch of resources you can search and follow steps in Google. If you don't know what is routing, then I recommend don't do it because you will lose your security protection that has been provided by the operating system. You can ask the experts for further information if you are curious. Alright, for now, let's move on. There's a few more applications you need to install to make a motion control works. Back to your controls configuration in your emulator, then go to motion configure. There's a feature called SemiHook UDP config, which is a hook surface for Nintendo Wii controller in Semu application, which is a Nintendo Wii emulator. I will be explaining what's this in a moment. For now, you can go to this learn more link near the test button. It says here that the page is currently under construction. Maybe the developer will publish the instruction here in the future. For now, go to this link. Then scroll down to the Android Motion Source section. You can open this link in your Android device so you can easily install the APK. Again, I put the link in the description down below. I will summarize all these instructions. Download and install Motion Source 1.1.2 on your phone. After you have downloaded, you can install the APK and then open the application. There's a bunch of stuff here. There's a list of IP addresses and there's rotation setup which you can choose. If you don't know which IP address you need to use, then you must check your current Wi-Fi connection. Make sure your PC and Android device connect with the same internet or Wi-Fi connection. Then select the address, then enter your port number. You can check the port in your Droid Joy server in your PC and use the connection port number. After that, turn on the server in your device. You can double check if the server turned on in your notification. It's time to connect your Android device motion into your PC. You need a tester application to check whether the motion is connected. Go to the web page before and download my pet test program from here. You can extract the zip folder and open the exe file. You can place it wherever you want. All you need to do is to insert the IP address of your Android device that connected with your internet. Then again, you need to insert the same connection port number. Then start the testing. You can find the information about your device MAC address, which refers to the current Android device motion server. Select that by double click it. As you can see, it is successfully connected with your PC. Now go back to your motion configure in your emulator. Just a few more steps to go. Insert the server IP address here. Again, the same address as your Android device connected with the same port, which is the same process from the testing application previously. Then add a new server. You can test it again by click the test button and then try check your device. When it says successfully receive data from the server, it means that your Android device motion controller connected with your emulator. After that, click OK. Now set the motion one control. Check your phone. And there you go, it detects your device motion. Now you can use your motion control on your game with your Android device. That's it for this video. If you found this tutorial helpful, again, please smash that like button and you can subscribe the channel. It's free. You can use the comment box below if you need any requests or any help about emulator and stuff. I will reply it as fast as I can. I'm JT, signing out. I will see you later in the next video.